Hi, I'm Shumi Warrant and I'm the founder of Ivy Wild. Ivy Wild takes curly hair products to the next stage. Not only are we identifying specific hair needs, we're also looking at the similarities and differences within different curl patterns. We are bringing creativity and excitement, exactly what you would expect from a hair salon if you was to go and get your hair done at a salon. I believe in inclusion within the hair industry, which I feel like a lot of brands are missing at the moment. There are companies that cater for a specific ethnic group. Instead of thinking, how can we help society evolve here? What is it that we're missing? And Ivy Wild definitely is a brand that does that. We have one goal and one vision, to produce products which cater for different hair types and specific hair needs but also bridge the diversity gap within the hair industry at the moment. I already know that my customer base need products that can help them create the salon looks that they get in a salon, but we're talking about easy styling solutions. I wouldn't have focused on the education of hair products within the hair industry, as well as hair types, if I didn't feel it was absolutely essential to the evolution of hair care and the hair care industry. I am talking about literally the stylist in a salon all the way down to the customer in the salon and their experience. Hair is an art form, I generally believe that. I can remember waking up at like seven years old and my mum doing my hair in cornrows before school to a couple years after that me having my first perm and years after that me having my first weave. So it's the journey really and that's exactly what we want to capture the journey and appreciate every stage of that journey with products that do that. During the development of Ivy Wild, I've really tried to make sure I've created a collective of products that complement each other, um, all the way down from the development in the formulas to the actual design of the products itself. I designed all the products my, on my own, um, and that was quite a personal experience for me. My background is in design and I'm really proud to present a collective of products that are unisex, are sophisticated and are just really exciting and quite creative. The design itself is a little bit fun and it's a little bit sexy and you know that when you're holding one of these products in your hand, you're about to upgrade your entire self-care to another level. The hues of black and white demand attention and I definitely wanted to send a strong message with the packaging. Um, for a very long time I couldn't decide exactly what direction I was going to go in um, and through frustration I was like let's just simplify everything because I was trying to do too much. Um, but I think the overall brand in itself speaks volumes and you definitely get a sense of the direction that the brand is taking through the different kind of dimensions of the products. Something I'm really passionate about is the education of hair. There are so many people at the moment that aren't going to hair salons, aren't getting the professional advice for issues that they're having with their hair. And the result of this is more issues with hair that are related to scalp conditions such as psoriasis or contact dermatitis. Because instead of seeking professional advice, we're going to friends that we know that do hair or your uncle's baby mama's cousin that knows how to do hair instead of, you know, the people that can actually refer you on to, uh, to seek medical advice if you've got an issue. There is no regulatory body within the hair care industry at the moment and that is very dangerous. When you think of cases like traction alopecia where your hair is actually cornrowed too tight and that can be a cause of traction alopecia, who do you go to and who refers that person on? Um, whoever has done that person's hair, the stylist or the hairdresser, who is at fault for that issue if we don't have any education within the system itself of these issues and how to prevent them. Something like finding out what scalp conditions actually are and what they look like, things like that can be solved just by going to a simple class and as an industry professional I am willing and committed to making sure that each of my clients and customer base are educated in that way. So putting on classes and things like that, that's just part of the brand and that's just who we are and it's so much more than just products for us. For me, it's so important that I find people 
who have the same kind of drive and passion about the direction that the hair industry is going in. Um, they're the people that I want to work with, people that I want to connect with, and hopefully the people that can understand the direction Ivy Wild wants to go in and they, they want to support that. I feel that the hair industry is one of the only industries left with discrimination. Um, and I can say that because I know a lot of people that have gone to a hair salon and actually been turned away due to lack of knowledge. And I think in this day and age, that shouldn't be happening. We shouldn't have people being turned away from a store or a salon because of the lack of knowledge when it's so readily available. Um, and it's just, it's not fair. I feel there's so many, so much progress to be made within the hair industry that it's just, it's time that we make a change. I want to encourage a movement so that people focus on hair type before they even look at someone's race. Uh, I know um, lots of different people with lots of different hair types and textures. Uh, I know European women that have absolutely gorgeous bouncy curls that are on borderline Afro and Afro-Caribbean women that's on the absolutely other spectrum of um, the curl types. So I think there needs to be a middle ground, there needs to be a company. Um, that caters for both and Ivy Well does that. We are the new direction in hair care and I want people to take ownership of the brand and act as if it was their own and that's what it's for, it's for the people, it's for each and every one of us. Uh, and it's then that we can get back to the artistry in hair care and, and really build the bridges that we've spoken about um, and I believe we, we, we're paving the way to do that. All five products are free of parabens and free of gluten. Uh, the products itself are all infused with oils, so from castor oil to argan oil, which are the first collection of the range. Um, and I'm really proud to say that. There's not a lot of products that are, are catering for curl types and curly hair types need a lot of moisture. Our products are designed around you, so you can have an Ivy Wild Hair Day every day. The vision for Ivy Wild is huge, and what I need now is your support. By supporting this business, you are, number one, helping me to get this business off the ground as a startup. Number two, contributing to the launch of each of these products which have friendly ingredients. And number three, helping us to launch the company's website and the cosmetic testing of each product. We need you to join us on our Ivy Wild journey. By backing us, you're helping us to reach more people so that everyone can have a happy hair day. Everyone with a curl type will be catered for with our product range. We need you to join us on the Ivy Wild hair journey so that we can bring these products to market and make them readily available for every curly-whirly person out there. You are supporting a homegrown Birmingham UK brand. Please pledge, share and support us in this campaign and thank you very much for supporting myself and the Ivy Wild team.